Almost 10 million Optus customers face a heightened risk of identity theft and online scams after one of Australia's biggest ever data breaches. Joining me live is Alistair McGibbon, Chief Strategy Officer at Cyber CX. Mr McGibbon, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. 9.8 million Australians, Optus say, is the worst case, but believe it could be smaller numbers. But it, if it is the worst case, I mean, we're talking 40% of Australia's population. In your view, is this Australia's largest security breach? Well, certainly by number, it would have to be the biggest breach if that number does get up to 9.8 million. And I have seen the Optus CEO say that that's at the extreme end. Um, of course, if you're doing league tables of breaches, you also need to look at what information has been stolen. So there are probably worse breaches in terms of what type of information. For example, if a particular healthcare provider was compromised and there was really sensitive health data, you'd expect that to be uh, more significant, for example, for the individual. But in terms of sheer numbers, absolutely, this is a pretty big event, there's no doubt. Why would health data be more significant than what we've seen leak from Optus? Because someone could assume the identity of someone. What, what could someone do that was worse with health and medical records? Oh, look, um, it's a bit like comparing uh, which, you know, how many bad things are there, right? I'm not saying the Optus breach is a good breach. There's no such thing as a good breach. I've worked in government before, of course, when that's happened in government. I've worked for corporates uh, and with corporates where it's happened. Uh, the type of data that the uh, Optus CEO was talking about is, of course, clearly your phone number, um, name, probably, I'm suspecting, uh, addresses um, and contact details. Um, and it might be uh, in a subset of people, potentially still several million people, so I'm not uh, downplaying it, uh, it would appear things like passport numbers and driver's licence, the KYC, the know your customer information that Optus is obliged to capture when it uh, issues you with a, a SIM card. Um, that's not insignificant, don't get me wrong. If it was a major health breach, it could be things like my psychiatric record, uh, particularly sensitive, um, you know, the hospital records of the like for me. And you can imagine for an individual, if they were then approached by a criminal, that could be significant. I'm not downplaying it by any means. Uh, what I would say, though, is uh, I think it's impressive that Optus came out as early as they have in this. This is leading to some of the confusion, of course. So it's a double-edged sword. They haven't sat on this for weeks or months. Uh, if I go back to when I started in this uh, game about 20 years ago, you may not have heard about this ever, or it might have been months later. At least now they're talking, um, but they clearly can't provide all of the answers that people want, and there are potentially millions of people that want answers. There's no doubt about that. Well, uh, there's been reports that uh, people have seen online uh, images of data that may have come from Optus for sale, and they were seeing that last week, so it hasn't been immediate, but as you say, they haven't sat on it for, for months and months. What do you know about that? Uh, have you heard anything more about whether we've seen information from Australians on sale? Yes, uh, I've seen also some reports and I've been contacted by some people. Um, our own teams, of course, are on the dark web. The dark web, uh, for those of your viewers that don't know, is essentially a, um, the bad part of the internet that normal people can't search won't search and won't go on to. Criminals uh, for you know, decades now have been essentially trading information on there, everything from username and passwords. I've seen, for example, reports today of over a million uh, Optus telephone numbers uh, for sale. You never know whether that stuff's true unless you actually make some form of purchase. And I make the assumption, of course, that someone has tried purchasing uh, at least some of those phone numbers to see if they're real. The thing about the dark web is it's full of criminals, so you never know exactly what to trust. I've also seen advertisements online looking for uh, telecommunications employees, both uh, at Optus and, and their, their competitors and peers in the market. Um, criminals are always looking for someone inside a network uh, to help steal stuff for them as well. So there's a whole range of really sordid stuff in this mm. dark web. You never know what's true or not. Uh, and we don't know whether this relates to some previous or different breach than the one that's being spoken about today. Yeah, it's concerning, isn't it? The Optus CEO says it could be criminal or state actors, but couldn't say, uh, says there is a criminal investigation going on. Maybe you could speculate for us on who could pull off something like this? 
Well, uh, look, put it this way, everyone always says that it's a sophisticated uh, attack. Um, I've been guilty of that myself uh, in government, uh, saying that it's got to be a sophisticated threat actor. We don't know. Optus clearly will be investigating, trying to work out who it was that did this. And the reason why they want to try to understand who it was is that gives a better indication as to motives. If it was criminals, and I'm, if, I, if you're asking me to bet, I'd say it's more likely criminals. They want to monetize what they've done, and they'll do that in several ways. You've already mentioned people are talking about selling things uh, online, so they'll, they'll try to sell that information to other criminals who might want to use it. They may use that information themselves to carry out uh, scams against uh, Optus uh, customers and former customers. Uh, if it was a nation, and so that's about monetization when you're a criminal. If it was a nation state, they would have collected it for other purposes. They, you know, nation states are kleptomaniacs. They steal as much as they can, uh, as often as they can, and they have their reasons, whether it's targeting a small group of individuals, right through to just better understanding any information about a country. Uh, but it's more than likely criminals. Uh, we may never know. Optus says they're working with the government, and the government clearly will be keen to understand. Uh, who and why someone has carried out this attack. Mr McGibbon, we're running out of time, but just quickly, if I could ask you, this is not as simple as just changing a password, is it, um, if someone's got information? What can someone do to protect themselves? And uh, I, I know that Optus hasn't let everyone know uh, the people that may have had their data breached. How would someone know that they've been affected at this point in time? Yes, I'd imagine in time Optus will reach out to individuals and, and they'll do that as best they can. In the meantime, any person who's an Optus customer, and pretty much any Australian, frankly, should be careful of uh, any messages they receive by email, by text, telephone call, possibly even letters. Uh, this is not a new crime. Uh, criminals often purport to be someone else or a company or a, or a government that you trust. Um, always be cautious about any additional information giving out, particularly more personal information or uh, payment details. Last thing I'd say is this, they should also be checking their credit histories. Um, go online. Uh, every Australian is entitled to at least a couple of free credit history checks a year um, and better still pay for that to be done. And there's potential, of course, that Optus will pay for the most affected customers' um, uh, credit uh, details to be uh, monitored because the worst thing would be criminals uh, using your identity to obtain uh, some type of credit and then the creditors come after you, of course, when you uh, don't repay it. Alistair McGibbon, thanks so much for your time today. Appreciate it.